And I have this as well. So I've got two wire scrapers. And I've had to take my glasses off. I've had to take my glasses off because they keep fogging up. But do you want to see the difference between the rusty floor and the pure metal floor? Can you see that bit there? So this is rust here, but then this is back to metal. So straight after scrubbing it, I'm gonna also have to prime it so it doesn't all turn into rust. You're joining me today as I sand, scrub, and save the bow of my narrowboat. The first thing you need to consider when doing any kind of paint removal is to wear safety gear. Harmful particles are best not inhaled. For this job I'm using a wire scrubbing brush. The wire scrubbing brush has been essential in loosening up paint that has not completely flaked off and also for covering a large area. I'm also using a wire attachment to my cordless drill and this has been fundamental in removing the smaller rust patches and taking them back to metal. Even though my primer and paint will go directly onto rust, I chose to coat the bow in fur tan. Checking the directions of the fur tan website, I wet the bow and then diluted my fur tan. I then coated the bow and left to dry for 24 hours. I didn't need to moisten the fur tan a second time as the temperature was not that hot. The benefit of fur tan over some other products is that it is a rust converter. Once the area that was covered in fur tan was washed and cleaned, I applied a primer layer. I chose to use Hammerite number no. 1 Rust Beater Primer that boasts not only to cover the rust but to actually kill it. One of the trickiest decisions you need to make when de-rusting your bow is when to stop. At first you'll convince yourself that you're only going to take a few sections back to metal, but once you start, it's very hard to stop. The shiny, shiny metal beckons you and challenges you to take the whole bow back to metal. I had to really fight that urge. You can see here how the rust has turned a purple colour because of the fur tan and this means it's no longer active rust. The priming layer here is for my peace of mind and to add another protective layer over the metal. Supervising Alice. We're on our smoko. The first undercoat in awesome blue is added. Yes, that's the official name on the tin. I'll go into my paint choices in another vlog. I'll also take you through step by step how I decided to paint the boat and what techniques worked and didn't work for me. So good morning. Shall we go check paintwork together? Oh, 
Well, I have to admit I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite proud of that. It's my first go. It's really shiny, shinier than I thought it was going to be. And I need to just cut it back a little bit today to get rid of some of the shine and get a key for the top coat. And also, it's really slippery here in the bow. The cats have kind of slid straight <laughs> off the bow. So um, I also have some sand and for the gunnels. I'm going to put the sand on the gunnels. I think I'm also probably going to do about 20 centimeters on the bow where we always step. Um, and then that will just make it a little bit safer. But yeah, I'm super happy. Thank you for watching the saving of the bow today. If you have liked it, please hit the like button. I have some more boat painting vlogs coming your way, so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss them. Thanks.